I've observed and in talking with some of the other gay objectivists, I, it's not an observation that's unique to me that we are somewhat overrepresented as a demographic among objectivists. Who is? Gays. Oh, yeah. And, um, <laughs> and I'm wondering if you might have anything to offer as to why that might be the case. I don't even know that it is the case. I mean, how do you know? Um, it just seems like when when I'm out and about in yeah. in the outside world, um, in, unless I'm at now, is something. Is this true in any state? Or well, I mean, I live in you know, I, I live in California, so I can only speak as far as that. When, I'm, when I when I'm when I'm out and about in when I'm not around something that would typically be considered gay, that I don't come across as many gays as I do when I'm at an objectivist conference. I never heard that one before, but I mean, do you see a problem for this? No, I was just, it's, I just find it, I just found it curious. I never... I, I definitely don't consider it a problem at all. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. I never <laughs> analyzed that fact. I think, I think uh, these uh, demographic analyses only hold with very large numbers. So like if you had... 20 million objectivists, it probably would even out, you know. I'm not sure.